Here today, Proctor's with me to talk about some Batman rumors and stuff. There's been a lot of uh, news circulating about the Batman movie, and uh, we want to talk about it. We want to talk about, you know, what is bullshit here? It seems like a lot of it's bullshit. Uh, maybe some truth to it as well. Uh, what do you want to talk about first with the Batman? Uh, let's talk about the reshoot stuff first. Now, Proctor, tell the people the rumor you were reading. Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson and a few other people sat down with Warner Brothers execs. Um, well, this is what I've read and I've, I, I was told by someone. <coughs> uh, they sat down and showed Warner Brothers execs early, an early, fil- like, put-together film. Like, it's put together, like, a full, coherent film um, with some VFX not finished and such. And apparently Warner Brothers got really angry once the film was finished um, because of how bad it was. Apparently every exec there hated it, thought it was, it was just a terrible, terribly made film. And apparently they got into a shout and match with Matt Reeves, um, with Matt Reeves defending his, his decisions and stuff. Um, and then it, it escalated into Warner Brothers demand and reshoots to be made, uh, to be done. And now they currently are reshooting it in Glasgow. But it's it's rumored to just be action sequences, um, but that's that's the biggest rumor I've seen from it, um, and I think you've heard something I've completely heard something opposite. Completely opposite. <laughs> I heard that Warner Brothers uh, was praising the film. They they got really excited uh, when they saw Matt Reeves, uh, what he was doing with the film and stuff. Uh, so you know, I, it strikes me as some bullshit that uh, Matt Reeves would be in a shouting match over this because he you know he doesn't seem like that kind of director. And uh, he doesn't have a track record of making films that are bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, or like poor on character development and stuff like that. So if they're questioning what he's doing with the film, that doesn't strike me as like uh, that true either. Because like maybe they question him a little bit, but they wouldn't be getting a shouting match over this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you have to trust what Matt Reeves is doing with uh, the character development, considering what he just did in his last few films. And that's pretty much the focus of his films. It's characters and character development, you know, emotional development that's in the film. That's stuff Matt Reeves is known for. So I, it just seems like it's a different reality. <laughs> you know, them shouting at each other. It just seems like that would be – that doesn't seem uh, true. <clears throat> but again, we and nobody was there really. I mean, the only people that know is Matt Reeves and the executives that were there. That's the only people exactly. that know. Yeah. We'll, we'll literally probably never know because – well, if the film comes out and it's great, that might be thanks to one of his execs. Yeah. And no one's um, going to care. <laughs> and, and no one's going to care, yeah. If the film comes out and it's bad, then I guess we could start another release the Snyder Cut and say, see, one of his execs done this again. Yeah, Release the Reeves Cut, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but them going back to reshoots, uh, now every movie, every big budget movie always does res- reshoots, so uh, it's a matter of like how extensive they are. And you're saying they announced this for action sequences... Uh, which I could buy, you know, because Matt Reeves uh, usually uses a second unit director for his action stuff. So maybe it wasn't up to par. Maybe they do have to go back and reshoot the stuff. And yeah, you were talking, uh, we were talking a little bit before we started to hit the record button that uh, the the villains in this Batman movie don't lend itself to action. You know what I'm saying? You've got Penguin, you got Riddler, you got Carmine Falcone. Like these are all human uh, dudes that Batman could beat up easily. So it's not like uh, he's going to be fighting henchmen. There's going to be a couple car chases, maybe, you know? Uh, that's about as far as the action. Yeah. Uh, maybe one way fights quite a lot of. <clears throat> I mean, they could do one way fights quite a lot of henchmen in the same vein as the Arkham games, which would be just phenomenal, really. But yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure what they're meant to do unless they've got a surprise villain, which I'm sure there was a rumor that there is actually Bane's going to be in it. It's, uh, funny enough, um, there actually was another rumor, I think today, um, that Two Face is going to show up at some point in the movie. Uh, <laughs> we're going to see some kind of origin for Two Face. And if you remember back, Matt Reeves was actually uh, not wanting Batman and Long Halloween to come out because it interfered too much with his Batman movie. Now, why would that be the case unless his movie has something to do with Two Face? You know what I'm saying? There's got to be some like Two Face Easter egg, or like at some point, we're going to see Harvey Dent. In this Batman world, because that's what the Long Halloween's all about. So, Two Face Origin, really. At the end of the day, I'm excited for it. I, I kind of with that first trailer. I know it could be the absolute opposite effect, but with that first trailer, I've got complete faith that this film's gonna at least be pretty, like, really good. 
it might not be a masterpiece, but it's at least going to be really good. If that trail has anything to go off, then yeah. they've got the tone perfect. They've got the action perfect. They've got the violence perfect. Robert Pattinson seems perfect so far. I just hope to get him a new bat suit because that one, that is a great suit, but it's a starter suit. Riddler looks amazing. His new design just looks, it, it looks like it fits the world perfectly. The penguin looks amazing. There's just that trailer, you just cannot praise it enough. Commissioner Gordon looks amazing. And, um, yeah, and I've seen, you know, movies in the past that have great trailers that turn out to be not so good movies, but like, are you telling me everything in that Batman trailer is just the best parts? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, no way. It, no just way. no way. No yeah. way at all. So one scene where he's, he's punching a few people, yeah. like, had such an elastic effect on people still now from that trailer. And same with that when he's in the, he's in the, he's not, not a prison cell, like an interrogation room and all the police are trying to hold him and he's screaming and he's trying to punch them and stuff. Like this film's going to be, from that trailer, it's going to, it's going to have a lot of, a lot of questions. And I think there was a rumor, another rumor that they were going to delve into Batman's psych and they're actually going to show him to have a, like a mental health disorder and such. How aggressive he's been and he's going to be learning and the villains are going to be learning and obviously Riddler's just ruthless in this, like, I just can't see how they could have filmed the rest of it and, and ruined that that trailer. And I, I just don't. Be so mad, they'd be shouting at Matt Reeves. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they, they seem to be pretty happy with that trailer that they released. Very <laughs> happy with that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really buying some of these rumors. I'm not even buying the Two Face one. I, that, that was another rumor that came. I, I'm not even buying that. You know, a lot of this stuff seems uh, made up. There's been so many rumors about this Batman movie, about what happening, what's happening on set, and stuff like that. Uh, uh, between Rob Pattinson and Matt Reeves as well. No, that I really believe either. I, I just don't believe Matt Reeves would be in this many shouting matches, you know what I'm saying? Like, this many fights. Like, uh, you know, his behind the scenes on Pl- Planet of the Apes and stuff like that. He seems like a really uh, good director to work with. I think if that was the case with stuff, <clears throat> once the film comes out, more and more people would come out and say, yeah, he was a dick like to work with. Um, because sets have... Sometimes hundreds of people yeah. stood in like a small area, so we it wouldn't be one person leaking it to some shitty journalist mm-hmm. who's posting it. It'd be a multitude of people coming out and saying, "Yeah, he's a nightmare to work with." The exact same with what happened with Kubrick. Kubrick's a, a meant to be a dickhead to work with, and that's unanimous. Yeah, and no, yeah, exactly. So Matt Reeves, it'd come out in a few months, like the same thing. A lot of people have come out and say, yeah, he's a nightmare to work with. But you only um, hear positive things from the Planet of the Apes trilogy. You only yeah. hear positives. So, you know, who am I going to believe? Yeah, people that actually worked with him or like a bunch of rumors from people that are faceless and nameless, you know? It just seems like there's a vengeance against the Batman film. But I, I don't understand why, because that trailer was phenomenal. Uh, like, why do people want this movie to fail? You, like, you want like a Batman movie to fail so you don't get more Batman? Is that the idea? Like, I don't understand. What's going on here? <laughs> you know what I'm uh, the, everything from the film looks in, incredible. You know what I'm saying? Really grounded. Is that what we've been dying for? That's what everyone like loved about BVS and the Fort Warner Brothers. We're going to course, like change the course and make Batman more lighthearted and stuff. And then with this trailer, obviously, nope. they've decided for the dark Batman and, and people still aren't happy. Hmm. It's like we're getting a Batman that everyone's wanted and... Robert Pattinson, yeah, he was in Twilight, but he's proved himself to be a brilliant actor. Why have people still got a problem with him? Exactly. It's because those people haven't watched any other movie that he's in besides Twilight. You know what I'm saying? Like, go watch uh, fucking Lighthouse. Oh, my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? This guy is an incredible actor. Like, accent-wise, he could do any accent on the fucking planet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you believe everything he's going through. Like, it's, it's going to be so good to see him as Batman. I think people are really underestimating it. 100 percent i know a few people were saying that he's a brilliant bruce wayne like again rumors that he's a brilliant bruce wayne but under the mask he's terrible and it's just like i don't believe it i simply don't believe it like in that trailer alone the one scene where you've seen him in the mask he looked amazing yeah yeah, like, yeah exactly and how he punched and stuff it just i don't think that was a stunt actor i think that was pattinson yeah in that outfit um he had a great batman voice i mean that's yeah what i imagine batman would sound like right there uh but yeah, I mean, that's some rumors. Uh, is there any other rumors you want to talk about here? No, that's it. I mean, there was the one where Robert Pattinson was apparently really lazy on set and he was coming up, turning up late and sleeping with core stars yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Again, don't really believe it. Because yeah. why has no other, no other set had a problem with Robert Pattinson? They always say he's a brilliant person to work with. Yeah. 
and he gives the projects his all. So why is he suddenly being a dickhead on the Batman? I, exactly. I don't buy it. That's right. It's, it's crazy, you know, because uh, I follow a lot of these people's careers, and all of a sudden they start to be dicks. It's like, all right, something's made up, or somebody, so, uh, someone's yeah. doing bullshit in here. That's going to do it for now. I just wanted to share some updates on some Batman rumors. Uh, they are reshooting. That is a real thing. That's not a rumor. They are reshooting some action sequences. We don't yeah. know to an extent. I don't know how long the reshoots are, uh, but that's going to happen. Everybody have a good day. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. No, no, we haven't actually seen it, Tom. We're just reporting it.